Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thanks for coming, I really appreciate it. So today's video, I'm gonna take you on a journey with me. As a matter of fact, we're gonna go on a road trip. You know what, matter of fact, I have no idea where we're gonna go. But all I do know is I'm gonna take you on a different twist on an unboxing. So I just recently received this new shipment from Snack Crate. So if you wanna know exactly what goodies we got in here, literally what goodies we got in here, keep watching and find out. By the way, I love food, so this is up my alley. <laughs> Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thanks for coming back, I really appreciate it. So if you haven't done so already, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And while you're at it, also hit that notification bell as well. So anytime I upload new content, you automatically get the notifications. And you know what else? You might as well go ahead and follow me on my other social media platforms under the name of Truly MKE. So that'd be Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, of course, Christian Mango, Grinder. I know those things don't go together. That sounds real bad. And AlwaysHungry.com. Mm -hmm. Is that really a website? I don't know. <laughs> if it is, I'm promoting the wrong website. But I'm always hungry, so you get it. All right, you guys, so let's just get this ball rolling here. So I'm not sure if you're like me who've noticed that when you go onto your social media accounts and then all of a sudden you're just randomly like viewing things, especially on Instagram, you can view like fo photos of like food or like restaurants and snack foods and things like that. Does that make any sense? And all of a sudden, before you know it, you'll see like sponsor pages pop up and you're like, okay, wait a minute y'all stalking me no that's just the analytics and big brother watching you every single move as to where you go to which leads me to my video today so typically when i'm instagram i like to see food i don't know why i'm always hungry i just try to create ideas of things i want to make not create but get ideas to create things i want to make that sounds a little bit better you get what i'm trying to say right anyway so i came across of uh, like this page that they had like snack food and like stuff from all over the world i'm like what is this what is this goody stuff right okay so anyway so they have a monthly subscription and it comes in three different i guess boxes in terms of like price points and what you get in there so there's like a 15 dollar one there's a 26 or 27 dollar one and there's a higher price one i don't know exactly what the cost is on that one however you know what i will do is leave all the information in the description field below so just in case at the end of the video and you're like hmm, this might be something i want to try then you can go to there and read some of the little bit of information that I was able to gather and obviously click on the link and it'll take you where you want to go in a sense of this particular monthly shipment company brand blah 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 anyways you're probably wondering just show me tell me a little bit more about what's inside your box so the company name is called snack crate so the box that i did pick up this is the medium size you know i'm a little greedy but i ain't too greedy where i got the big old box so i got the medium one because the little one seemed a little bit too small in terms of what came inside and i'm always hungry so so basically is that they ask you a few different questions about, you know, what foods you like in terms of snacks, countries, origins, like places you want to try foods out, which is actually pretty cool. So what they do is monthly, they'll send you a new shipment of different parts of food, snacks from all over the world. I'm like, oh, okay. You know, this is actually pretty cool because normally when I'm at a gas station or a convenience store, you see things and you're like, I want to try that, but I'm like, I don't know if I want to buy it. You know what I mean? Because it's like, what if it's nasty? So I thought this was actually be a cool way to actually try different products. I can't open this box clearly because you guys are seeing me from all over the world. And you don't know what you're going to get until you open the box. And not everyone gets the same shipment. Why am I holding scissors like this? I'm about to hit somebody. Anyway, so let me go ahead and put this box down and I'm going to open it up to you. So you guys can see exactly my first reaction and you're going to see what i want to be getting the same time that makes sense i don't know anyways boom, ba -doom. you can't see my dress anyways so let's see what we get <gasps> Ooh, look this is so cute welcome to this month's snacking adventure get social with us share your snack experience hashtag snack great that's cute i like that <laughs> all right so let's see what country we're going to today this is what i meant by travel and take a road trip because you never know where we're going to go snacks the snack crate is anywhere in this country so you have no idea what you're going to get which is super super cool all right what's in here we have something to tell you i don't know i'll read this later 
I probably should read it now, right? So, oh, <laughs> this is so awesome. I know I have a few a uh, few subbies out there who actually live in this country. So the country of snacks that I received is from the country Canada. Oh my God, this is, I have to keep these cards. These are so cool. Again, this is my first shipment, so I'm pretty ecstatic in receiving this. So, does this look accurate, you guys? A anyone who lives in Canada, like, I don't know. Hopefully you're able to see the picture. So we got like hockey. What? Why is he holding maple? Like a jar of maple. I don't know. This is what happens when you don't live in other countries. You, not that you're naive. It's just you're kind of like you're in your own little bubble. So this is the reason why it's so cool to get this so that you're able to experience a sense of what other countries and individuals eat over there. I think it's pretty awesome. Anyways, so let me go ahead and open this up. <gasps> This is so awesome. Okay, so there's like a little mini card in here telling you facts, little simple tidbits about the country that you're receiving products on. So from what I'm seeing right here, you got fun facts about the country Canada and then a I guess about over here. This is so awesome. You know what? This is actually really cool for families that have children. So I may be able to actually incorporate my son in this because I think this is a really good educational experience for him. All right. So the next item that I have on top and it looks like, what is this? Okay. So is this what I'm getting in my box? Okay, so let me show you real quick, you guys. So this looks like it has a list of items. <gasps> Wouldn't that be cool if this is what I'm getting? I'm assuming this is what I'm getting. Again, I have no rhyme and reason how I'm doing this because I never received one of these boxes before. Again, I'm new to this. If any of you who are watching my video who have been receiving this, educate me here because I love hearing from you guys and how this snack crate works in terms of the company-wise. Like, look at this this is so awesome oh, i cannot wait look just in case an item or something i don't agree with in terms of taste i did bring some waters yup right here look at my name truly mk you like this my sister made this favorite color is orange and an orange straw mm. anyways you guys scatter brain just score a moment this oh you guys gotta see the wrapping do you see this isn't that cool different font in different languages, um, I'm assuming, right? They could be cussing me out on this on this packaging. I don't even know. They'd be calling me Boo Boo the Fool. <gasps> I feel my God, this is like Christmas. Oh, it's sticker and everything. Hopefully, you guys are able to see this. <gasps> oh, do you not see this? <gasps> okay. Whoa, there are tons of bag of chips. Is that a ketchup? Is that a, a thing out there? Ketchup? Like that has to be potato chips, right? All right, let me take this out. Oh my God, you guys, what is in here? <laughs> this is a real thing out there? Is this? Okay, for this thing is obviously in my way. Let me bend this down. I can't, you guys can't even see me. I'm so excited. I'm not even paying attention. Oh my God. All right, let me just put this down for a moment. Is that better? I don't know, like. <laughs> this is, so excited. is this really a thing out there in Canada? Ketchup? French, um, potato chips? I'm supposed to say french fries. Okay. Hmm. All right. So we'll get to this for in a moment. And then we got, is this on my list? So, so we'll figure this out. Is this on here? It is. Oh, okay. So this so, so far is everything I'm getting. Whoa, that's a lot of goodies. Anyways, so the next item I got is from Ruffles. All dressing, all dressed. How do you say that? Anch, ancho, ancho, no. I get what, you know me and my language and words. I cannot say anything. Oh, I love anything pickles. Like pickles are like, is this popcorn? What? This is popcorn dill pickle flavor. My mouth is watering. Like, mm. It's literally watering right now. Oh, oh my God. What? Okay, there's so much more, you guys. Okay, so I have no room over here. Like, what is this? Okay, so cheesies, corn snacks? This seems like, um, this seems like, uh, what is you call this? Um, I can't think of the name over here. So it's made from a company called Hot Hawkins. Okay. Okay, okay, stop talking, Carlos. Take everything else. I don't know where to put my stuff at, you guys. <gasps> Ooh, what is this? 
this is, I'm telling you, this is a perfect road trip, like a bunch of snack foods. So tangy, zangy, twisties, sour blue raspberry flavor. Okay, you know what? That, mm, oh my God, it's just watering. So let me go ahead and just, yeah, let's just put this to the side and just, this is, let's just take a couple items at first, okay? Because I have no clue, you see my eyes, I'm just like. <laughs> Okay, you guys, so you know what? Let's just get this ball rolling here. Let's start trying out some of these goodies. So the first one I'm gonna try out is from the company named Old Dutch. Again, these are potato chips. Um, this is ketchup flavor. I'm not sure about that though. I mean, I like ketchup, but ketchup flavor? Okay, it smells like ketchup. <laughs> At least it doesn't smell like too vinegary, you know what I mean? Sometimes ketchup, can have oh my god my mouth is watering oh I cannot wait it has that vinegary smell uh, I tell you squirrel moment if you never seen my videos before I'm I'm not always all there so let me go ahead and try this real quick hmm okay hmm oh I know I I need to close my mouth but hmm this is interesting like it doesn't it tastes like a smoky light barbecue flavor i'm not sure if i'm explaining that correctly but i'm not getting ketchup um no it is hmm mm, it's good though i mean this is not bad i'm not sure if i can find this here in the u.s in the states i'm gonna have to google this and see if they sell this in here in the united states because i've never seen this product before um, it's good. I mean, would I buy it again? Actually, I would. The, it isn't, you would think ketchup, like, ooh, right? Like the vinegary flavor of it. Ketchup is good with like french fries and your hamburger, but on a potato chip, I don't know about that. But this actually isn't too bad at all. So I'm gonna definitely have to look this up and see if we have this. I'm sure there's a somewhere here in the U.S. that sells these particular products. But yeah, I definitely would try these again. Okay, so the next product I might try out is from the company Ruffles. I know what Ruffles are. Um, again, I'm not even sure if I'm pronouncing that name correctly, but let's go ahead and open this up. So is this just nothing but like bell peppers and onions? I'm just seeing it on the picture. I'm sure on the card, I don't know what I did with the card. I threw it around somewhere because I was so excited what I was getting. Let me see, does it tell me what? I don't know. Hmm, I don't know. Wait, no, I don't know, whatever. So let's just go ahead and open this one up. Let's just see what this tastes like. Again, this is actually pretty cool. So, you know, I should have showed you from the other one, the inside of it. There you go, you know, I, let me grab it real quick because I didn't eat the whole bag, you know, I, I, I want to get two full. Ooh, almost knocked them over, see? There you go, there you go. So just so I wasn't pretending I wasn't showing you something, just nothing. Okay, so they look like plain ruffles to me. Let me go ahead and try. Ooh, they do have a funny smell. Oh, okay. Mmm. This is so rude of me. You want to, you, here, let me give you one. There you go, there you go. You can have it. Here, get it. You've taken too long. I'll eat it then. Hmm. This is actually really good. I'm surprised, dang, do we have these here? Mmm, okay. These are the bomb, like literally, those are super, super good. Mmm, okay, okay, mm -hmm. All right, you guys, so let's get into the next item. Now, again, I am a huge fan of pickles. Anything pickles, I love it. Like, anything pickles, seriously. Like, do they have ice cream pickle flavor? Mmm, <gasps> ooh, that would be so delicious. I know, pickles is like that one, that one flavor that not everyone likes, and I'm not sure why, because y'all are crazy who don't like pickles. Ooh, I'm, there we go, I got it. This is so loud, let me just see. Hmm. It smells really vinegary. All right, so let me just show you. It just looks like popcorn, nothing special, but let's see how these taste like, though. Hmm. This don't taste like pickles. No, it doesn't. Let me look at this again. Make sure I read this right. Dill pickle flavor. Okay, no. You know what it tastes like though? It tastes stale. It does, it tastes a little stale, I'm not gonna lie. Um, 
I'm not crazy about it. I mean, I've had better popcorn. I guess a person who isn't crazy about dill, this would probably be up your alley because you really don't taste the pickle flavoring of it. I mean, it's not bad, don't get me wrong. I'm not trying to, you know, diminish this company, but it's good. I wouldn't have it again, let's put it that way, but it isn't bad in the sense of it being too overpowering with um, the pickle flavoring. Because still, some products, when they are pickle flavor, it can be very off-putting, but this, no, it's okay. I just wouldn't buy it again, but otherwise, I'm happy with it. I mean, it's okay. All right, so let's get into the next item here. Oh my God, there's there's plenty of stuff in here. So there you go, look, look, candy on the bottom. All right, so let's get into this package right here. Ah, what is this? Cheesies, I've never heard of this before, but again, it's their corn snacks. I'm not sure what that implies, but, uh, oh, Cheetos, that was the word I was thinking about, but these, damn, that's huge. Like right here's the inside, look at that. Do you see this? Hmm. All right. Whoa. Dang. This is humongous. Like, do you guys not see this sucker? Wow. Hmm. These taste. Oh. 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 I need some water. They're real salty. I'm not gonna lie. I mean. The texture is good. The texture actually is really good. And what I mean by texture is that it tastes baked. Is it baked? I wonder. No preservatives. Yeah, you can, yeah, it tastes like no preservatives. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like sometimes when you buy a product and you're like, ooh, that has a lot of preservatives. No, this actually tastes really fresh. Um, it's made with from real cheddar cheese and it does actually um, I don't know if it's baked I'm looking at the packaging and I don't see it and the reason why I'm wondering if it's baked because it has that baked um, texture that baked flavor it's good but just a bit salty let me try another bite mmm real crunchy hmm I mean it's okay huge stuff mmm mmm mm. it's so good you want to try another piece you guys let me see. Well, these are huge. Here, I'll give you one. Here, here you go, boo boo. Mm. There you go. You don't want it? Okay, I'll have it. Mm. Mm. Good, salty. Mm. Mm. Sweet and salty. I just need something sweet now. This is good. Mm. I'm so rude. Mm. Don't take me anywhere to eat with you guys because mm. I'm just ghetto with my mouth open. Anyways, okay. So hopefully I pick up something that's real sweet because that was real salty, but it was good though. I ain't gonna lie, it was really good. So the next package, as I showed you earlier, it is the Tangy Zangy um, Sour Blue Raspberry Flavors. I've never seen these before whatsoever here in the US, um, but I can't wait to try these. I love sour, like sour, I can't open this. Me and my sisters. I love Sour Patch Kids. Like those candies, like are super good to me. So I'm wondering if these are going to be very similar to like that type of product. Well, we'll see. All right. So let me show you the inside. Whoa, you get a lot in here. Wow. Okay. Hmm. Mm hmm. Okay. Um, I'm trying to cover my mouth because I know I'm being real rude. I'm eating like a cow right now. That's okay. Mmm. Mmm. These are, mmm. What is this? These are good. Okay, let me show you real quick. They say this is a product of Canada, right? Hopefully you guys can see this. Why is it say made in the USA? This is really a Canadian candy. Okay, again, to all my Canadian subbies or new viewers from Canada, is this a Canadian product? Because if so, why is it made in the United States? <laughs> I'm sorry, I think that's just hilarious. Like, really? Okay, it's good, it's good. I, I, I'll eat it. All right, so let's get into the remainder of my box. So let me go ahead and show you. You guys can see, this is packed to the ground. Like literally, they packed the sucker. All right, so the next product I have here is Maynard's Juicy Squirt um, and Berry. Okay, is that the flavor or that's the name of it? All right, so let me, where's my scissors again? Because I don't want to mess up the whole packaging. 
Now, where is, make sure this is made also in Canada because the other one was, yeah, this is made in Canada. I tell you, I'm not sure why the other one was made in US. All right, so there's different colors and shapes. So let me show you, I don't know why I put that one back in there. So there goes the inside. These are really big, big, look at this. Oh, look at that. Okay, it's a big old piece. Mmm. 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 This is making my mouth water. Oh my gosh, this is so delicious. Okay, so look at this next shape right here. So this is obviously a little cherry. I'm not sure if it's going to be picking up. So let me go ahead and put this into my mouth, oh, obviously. Mmm. Okay, these are really, really good. Like, hmm. Let me try one more. Hold on. Wait. Oh, this one got squished in here. Okay, this one, I'm not sure what shape this is or what flavor. I got squished, but that's okay. Mmm. This is, okay, these are really, really good. I never, again, I never heard of this brand before, but. <clears throat> okay. This is what happens when we have too much junk food. Now I need some waters. Mm hmm All right, so let's get into the next item in here. Let me just grab this box right here. It's on the bottom. Anyways, so what is this? You know what this reminds me of? Um, goobers, right? Goobers, yeah. Here in the U.S., we have them called goobers, but this is actually a little, much, a little bit more smaller box. So basically, it's just chocolate-covered raisins. Let me just see if it tastes the same. Very similar to, like, goobers here. They look the same, to be completely honest. I'm not sure you guys can pick that up. So let me go ahead. <sighs> oh, I almost dropped these. My God. It would never be a video unless I'm dropping something. Actually, these actually taste a lot better than goobers. They do. Oh my God, they do. They taste fresh. Hmm. Super fresh. Okay, so this is from Hershey's Canada, Inc. I never knew that about Hershey's. So there's a separate division of Hershey's, but in Canada. I'll show you real quick. Uh, hopefully that picks up. Oh, okay. So I learned something today. So basically, this is what it is. It's just like a goobers here in the U.S. of just chocolate covered raisins. Actually, these are really, really good. So, mm, oh my God, if you guys see these and you like chocolate um, covered raisins, pick these up. These are super good. So the next product that I'm going to get from here. Oh my God, I didn't realize this box was so massive but full of stuff. So we got a crispy cruncher right here. Okay, so this reminds me in terms of the packaging. It looks like um, Butterfinger, right? I think so. Yeah, this looks like it would be like in a sense of a Butterfinger. So there's a piece already broken off. So I'll just go ahead and eat that. Okay, let's see. Oh my God, it'll be so full. Mm, yeah, mm, yeah, mm, yes. <laughs> Sorry, that's what, that's what it tastes like. A Butterfinger, but so much better. Oh my God. You guys in Canada, you guys are killing it with the candy game. This is, this is delicious. Oh my God. Mm, a little chewy because of um, the caramel. I'm guessing it's caramel. I don't know. Whatever it is, it's just, it's, it's just delicious. But it reminds me of a Butterfinger, just a little bit more crispier. Caramel, taffy, peanuts in here. Mm, my God. Oh my God, it's so good. Okay. Let me get to the next one. All right, so the next item I got in here, can you see? All right, let me just grab this one right here. So this is from Arrow, uh, Arrow, Arrow. It's from Nestle. It's, it's uh, I guess the, it's called Aero. It's peppermint. Ooh, I love things that are peppermint. I love peppermint tea. Um, I don't know, I just love peppermint. Ooh, what is this? Okay, so it's a chocolate bar. Okay, so there are pieces that it looks like you can break off. Mm, my goodness, that's let me make sure I don't make a mess. Okay, so the inside looks a little bit like um, I'm not sure, like airy, like air pockets. Like I'm not, yeah, Hesley, Hesley, <laughs> Nestle did that before. Oh my god, mm, it smells so good. Mm. You know what this tastes like? You know, it's like those little tiny mints that you would get from a restaurant. Like oh, Olive Garden. Okay, I'm trying to talk and I got food in my mouth. That's horrible. You know when you go to Olive Garden, they give you the like those chocolate peppermint mints. Mm -hmm. This what it tastes like. Oh my god, it's so good. I'm like, you guys, you guys, I'm being so rude right now. Mm -mm. Okay, let's get to the next part. 
All right, so let's go to the next product over here. So we got a company or a bar called Oh, he <laughs> is it really called Oh Henry? Oh Henry. Oh, that did not come out <laughs> right the way I just said it. <laughs> I'm cracking myself up. Oh boy. Yeah. Okay. So what is this? Oh, is it like has peanuts in it? I don't know. It, it says crunchy peanuts, chewy fudge. Um, creamy caramel cover and a chocolatey coating. Okay, let's see. Mmm. Okay. Mmm. Mm, you guys. This is... Mmm. Oh my god. This is good. <laughs> oh, Henry for real. Mmm. Oh my... This is like... Do they make these candies like right off the bat? Because the candy tastes so fresh. Like, seriously, everything seems so fresh, except the popcorn tastes a little stale, but so far, mmm, I'm going to get a little bite, mmm, okay, oh, Henry, mmm, mmm. <laughs> okay, you guys, so we got two more items left in my snack crate. This literally was packed to the brim of nothing but snack goodness of foods. Oh, I'm just throwing it all around. Okay, so now the next piece, next piece of candy I have here is... It's called Mr. Big. That is big. Why well, I picked it out after I picked up, or first picked up, oh, Henry, oh, Henry, Mr. Big. My mind is going, obviously, in the wrong places right now. <laughs> Anyways, so what is special about this one? I don't know. I don't know, but we'll find out when we get to it, right? Okay, so there goes the candy bar. My God. Mmm. Mmm. Oh my god, it just like, tastes like, it tastes like they have peanut covering, I can't talk, it tastes like they have chocolate, obviously chocolate, and peanuts covering a Kit Kat, like li literally, look at the inside, that looks like it's a Kit Kat with like caramel on the bottom, Rice Krispie treats, and chocolate, that's what it, that's what it tastes like, and that's what it looks like, like seriously, oh my god, hmm. I'm like, this is super good. Mm, I don't know if I, I should have joined this monthly shipment club because I'm going to be big. Oh my god. Mm. Just give me a moment. Just give me a moment here. This is so delicious. And I still, mm, I'm so rude. I'm just snapping away. <sighs> okay, let's just get to the next item because I can be here all day eating this. <laughs> All right, so the last item that I got in my box, this is from Maynard's, I believe, wine gum. Wine gum, why is it called wine gum? I don't know, but let's just take a look. Clearly it's gum, maybe that will help <laughs> clean off my palette of mixture of foods. Okay, so these look like gummies. That's what that looks like. Okay, so, huh. Okay, is it, is it gum? Or is it gummy? Because I don't, I'm not getting a, a gum sensation. Okay, that one tastes kind of weird. I'm not sure what flavor that is. Yeah. I guess. I'm not liking that one. Okay. Yeah. They're weird though. Like, what are they? Like, there's no shape to it. I don't know how to explain what these are. Okay, so anyone who's tried these before, anyone from Canada, if you're viewing this. So this is from Toronto, Oregon, or, why I say Oregon? Oh my God. Anyways, if you try these before, leave a comment below, like what are these supposed to be? I mean, are they, are they gum? Clearly it's not gum because I'm not able to make it into a bubble gum, but it's more like a hard, chewy gummy. Oh, ugh. What the hell? I mean, what the hell? Sorry, that's nasty. Give me a moment here. Okay, so clearly that wasn't my favorite. Um, I will try these again. Maybe those two flavors were just like, I don't know, but clearly I didn't agree with it too much. But I will give this to my son and maybe he'll like it. <laughs> it's so wrong for me to say it. Anyways, you guys. So I hope you guys like my different unboxing of just opening um, candy snacks from different parts of the country. I think that's actually pretty awesome. I do like the fact that they give you a little card 
describing or giving you a little bit of insight of each country that you're receiving in that particular shipment for that particular month. That's actually really, really cool. It gets you kind of like out of your comfort zone of always going through those same particular products and same particular um, brands that you normally go to because I normally just eat Cheetos and like Doritos. So if I could just step outside the box of that, that's pretty cool. As I mentioned earlier in the video, I will leave all the information in terms of Snack Crate, about their products, about their overall um, shipments, how they work, and I'll also include a link directly to their website. So just in case if you are interested in receiving some of these for yourself or your family, you're more than welcome to do that. Definitely leave a comment below. Let me know if you guys tried any of these products before. Um, are some of these you're familiar with as growing up with? Are they new? Are they old? I don't know. Again, this is all new to me. It's pretty cool. Actually, I really Really like it and I like the fact that I'm able to try different products that again like I said that they're pretty much out of my comfort zone so it's pretty cool anyways until then you all I hope you're having a great day I don't know what I was about to say but until then make sure y'all brush your teeth wash your culo and subscribe until then take care bye now <laughs>